Hi, this is James with Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Today we're out here with Joel and Amy with Fort Rock Farms, and they're gonna tell us their story. So about 10 years ago, uh, we started looking into a more sustainable life, uh, watching videos on food, food ink, and forks over knives, and whatever. Um, and it kind of pointed us this direction. Um, after looking for property in Northern Arizona that made sense for us, uh, we figured out that solar was going to be uh, the way that we could pull it off. So we wanted to be off grid for a couple reasons. Uh, one was the freedom of knowing that you're you're producing the stuff for yourself. Um, and that goes along with your sustainable mindset that you had. Yeah, yeah. There, there's there's food. a certain freedom uh, that comes along with uh, knowing that um, whatever the rest of the world's doing doesn't really affect you on the day to day. Um, so there's that part of it. The second part of it is uh, where we could afford to buy property means there was no power lines available. We had gotten a bid from the power company. It was $100,000 uh, just to start talking to them about getting power out to our property. Um, and then realistically probably another 20 on top of that uh, to set poles and get everything ready for us. Uh, after doing the research and then talking with you guys uh, about what we could do system-wise, um, we're able to live like we're on the grid for a fraction of the price uh, as compared to what they quoted. And we don't have an electric bill, which is nice. Tell us yeah. what you do with, with your farm. So we raise uh, pasture poultry, uh, market garden veggies, uh, we do honey, beef, pork, uh, a little bit of everything, uh, which means that we need a water source. Uh, so it's got its own solar system just for the water source. Um, but this right here, this covers our living quarters, uh, allows us to live out here. What kind of appliances do you run off the system? Everything that everybody else in the world has, uh, or at least in the United States. Uh, washer, dryer, uh, air conditioner, uh, any normal appliance we live like we like we're on the grid we're not we're not limited uh, like you would think uh, first system that we bought from you uh, was for an RV that we had you design uh, we did the install on it and it was great for three years uh, but we were limited on you know battery capacity and there's only so much we could do with it and that gave us the idea of when we do a system uh, we don't want to have those limitations and Knowing that we had a budget, uh, you, you and I talked at length uh, as to what exactly it was going to take. And with these uh, lithium batteries coming down in price um, and being attainable for you know people like us, it completely changed the design from even six years ago when we started talking about designs. Um, they were huge to cover those types of needs. With those discovery batteries, smaller array, uh, small battery bank that lives in a house uh, that you don't have temperature control issues or venting problems or whatever. Uh, so the, the original design idea was to not have to live where we were constantly thinking about our power consumption, what the batteries are doing, what kind of condition they're in. We wanted a dummy proof system. We had lived with solar long enough to know what its limitations were uh, and kind of what we wanted. And since day one, um, you know, you have your first couple months where, I mean, you're, you're looking at it all the time to see what it's doing because it's still new and it's still exciting. Uh, but now it's, a, it, it's an afterthought. We don't just forget about it. We completely forget about it. Parts and pieces uh, from Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. I want to say the final bill was about twenty-five thousand. Um, add another five or six thousand on top of that for pipes, concrete, concrete right? uh, conduit, okay. uh, fittings, ground rods, grounding stuff. Um, I would say we're probably in the low thirties cash out of pocket. Um, we did it as an owner builder. Uh, it's permitted through the county. Um, one nice thing was when I went to get the permit, they had uh, 
very strict instructions as to what they wanted for the permit. I called you and said, this is what they want. You gathered everything up uh, and emailed it over to me. Getting my permit was no problem. So just the service alone um, makes it worthwhile to buy the product from you guys uh, because right, you know, before we even started, the service was over the top. So this is where stuff gets interesting and fortunate for me. Uh, this is Dan. Uh, he's uh, been one of my good friends since we were I think, 16. Uh, we met in high school auto shop. He was always way better at this stuff than I was even in auto shop. Uh, he runs, uh, he owns and runs Dunright Electric Incorporated. Um, this is what he does for a living and he just happens to be my best friend. So kind of worked out for me really, really well. Um, I don't know what the labor charge would be on something like this. My guess would be probably ten to $12,000 for everything that he has done uh, with the amount of equipment that he brought up here, uh, digging holes, trenching, and, and whatnot, some of the equipment we had. Um, but fact of the matter is, um, when it comes to the installation part, you know, when you show up with $25,000 worth of expensive electrical gear and basically some instructions on how it all goes together, that's great. But kind of as an insurance policy, um, I think you want a guy like this, uh, to help wire it all up and twist it all together. So the basics of building this, putting the equipment on the wall inside the house, hauling the batteries in, digging trenches, uh, laying conduit, whatever. Average guy like me uh, could easily do that. Um, and maybe if I was a little bit more adventurous, I might try to do the actual wiring and then just have somebody double check it. It's a lot of money on the line uh, with that. Um, I was fortunate enough that he wanted to be a part of this from the get-go. Uh, so this is something that we did together for the most part, other than putting the panels up and uh, some other small stuff. He was here for pretty much the whole thing. Uh, and he's located, he's my neighbor up here, and we're in Northern Arizona. Uh, so anybody, Sligman, Ash Fork, Flagstaff, uh, all these areas around here, anybody that's interested in doing this, uh, that really wants a top-notch install, uh, somebody that's licensed and really knows what they're doing, uh, this is going to be your guy. Um, when we had questions, it was nice to see Dan hop on the phone with the engineer and they could talk. And it's, to me, it sounds like Greek, but to them, they know exactly what they're talking about and they troubleshoot stuff together and everything went smooth and fine. Um, you wouldn't believe how easy this process was. The physical labor of doing this, it's a lot. It's a pretty big system. It's a lot to it, especially how clean we wanted the install. There's a lot of extra stuff that we did that a lot of people might not do. But overall, when it came time to tie everything together, James had told us it's going to be plug and play. You get all the stuff set, hook all the wires up this way. It's kind of dummy proof. It's exactly what it was. It When point it was time a to, to fire it up. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I don't know if you recall or not, but we've actually kind of sort of worked together on a number of systems now. The RV one that, you know, we installed originally for his RV, the, the original solar well pump. Um, and then there's been a number of things that we actually haven't worked together on. But when I have customers ask me uh, who to go to for solar parts and pieces, I always send them to you guys because I am not a solar expert. I'm an electrical expert. You guys know what all the current, you know, best practices are as far as like sourcing the gear or whatever. I, I don't keep up on top of that. That's just too much. Um, so the number of systems that I've done that you, that you laid out, all the parts and pieces worked together like they should have. It made my job a lot easier. All I had to do is to figure out how to get it installed where it needed to be, make sure that all the connections were right. Um, they've always been well balanced. I, if I needed a solar system right now, this is where I would call would be you guys. I got to jump in on that. Uh, I've been around Dan on projects uh, long enough to know and the fact that we're an 80 mile round trip from town, uh, I can tell you the frustrations uh, when you don't have a correct parts list and you've got to drive 80 miles round trip to go get a handful of nuts and bolts and whatever, 
everything that we've ever gotten from you guys, um, it's everything we need. We have never been held up on a job uh, on any of these projects that we've done. And we've done a lot with you guys over the last seven years. Everything's always there. Um, you've always made sure that, I mean, you pre-think it out, the cables are cut correctly, all the nuts and bolts, all the fittings, everything that we need. Uh, so start to finish, when we have the time to actually get to do one of these projects, we're not held up by, you know, something that we have to wait two days to come in, uh, you know, by freight or whatever the case. That's a pretty big deal when you guys are out living off-grid and you're, you know, there's not a hardware store right around the corner. Um, you know, now that you're, at, you're adding hundreds of dollars to the cost of whatever you're doing just because you didn't figure it out right. So the service on top of uh, just buying the parts and pieces from you, the service has saved us a lot of money and a lot of headaches of not having to pivot at the last minute and try to fab something up or dig through the parts bin and, oh man, we need this, do we have a spare or whatever. Every single time we've always had every part that we need. That's a, that's a really big deal on projects like this. Well, something else that I always like too is that uh, my business name, Dunright Electrical, that's not like a gimmick or a joke. That's my mindset. That's how I live my whole life around trying to do things right. And I like the fact that I'm, I'm given a parts list. We, we get the parts and pieces from you and they're all the correct stuff. It's not a hodgepodge. It's not, it's not all these mismatched pieces that you got to figure out how to, you know, force together. It, it all is done right this fits in right in with how my line of thinking is so this this to me is like a natural fit I, it was it's been an honest pleasure putting these systems together all right so we're out here in uh, northern arizona here at fort rock farms thanks for joining our video um, if you liked it uh, subscribe comment feel free to give us a call if you need any equipment Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment.